six out of eight of them during warm-up. His first pitch is in for strike one. One, two, and a strikeout for Jackson Weir to start. It's Yadier Molina, favorite team, a team you know well, the Cardinals. And Chen's got a single with one out here in the first, in the center, and Taipei's got a man aboard. Fan Chun Jun's nickname is Big Dummy. Grounds it to short. Junior went to second for Jelsing, and it's in the right. Chen to third, and Chinese Taipei has him at the corners here in the first. Finals in Canada because he had pitched in the semis. This one to the backstop, and Chen doesn't test Tom Chuck from third. Watching that ball, make sure it was right there. Line drive to third, and off the glove of McQueen, and in the left. Chen scores. Fawn behind him, and Wu drives in two. And who gets the party started for Chinese Taipei? You see a pitch a little bit down in the zone. Look at that barrel balance staying through the baseball. A little bit of that personality over that first base. Two RBIs for Wu. Been before, including the manager, Lee Chung Ta. As that's a walk issued by Weir against Shu. With the ground ball. This is Yi Cheng Han on the ground to first. Fair ball. Now Booth taps the bag for out number two with Wu to third and Shu to second. 2-2. Two, two. Got him. <laughs> 80 miles an hour. Are you kidding me? 79 at the knees. What do you do? This is going to be one of those games where as we get another look of this because this is possibly maybe the hardest throw we've seen here in the Little League World Series throwing 80 miles an hour equivalent to 104 miles an hour. It's a ground ball roller from Jackson Weir to first and a sliding play made by Wu Yun Shi. Nicely done at first for out number two. Unreal. Well, he's just playing with them at this point. It's a pitch he may not even need. Weir has some nasty stuff for a lefty. Like that, up the ladder with some cut as well. The strikeout, Wu. And he's only got one out in the second. On the ground, up the middle, base hit. And Lin Wei Hong will go on to first. A one-out single. That was with six minutes to air. Hot shot at second, pass Sorrell into right center. Lean sprints to third. And it's second and third for Chinese Taipei in the second. And that set up a matchup with South Korea in the title game. In the air, left field. Bilbo goes back and he makes a catch, adjusting. Lean tags and scores on a sack fly from Chiyo. And another run for Chinese Taipei. And well done by Jackson Bilbo. Of that South Seoul team that was in the championship, after the first one got eliminated. So in the end, Taipei got here to Williamsport, and they are living up to the pedigree. Snaps off the slider again. Filthy. Fanchan Jun's 1 2. Nasty again. Face five, punched out four. Is anyone going to touch him? Fanchan Jun's 1 2. Gas. 80 again. How do you touch Fan Chun Jun? I mean, that's going to be the question all day. Check out these strikeouts. The slider is moving. You got nasty break on it, late break, and then you go with the heater up top. Pulled on a rope to right center field, and that splits the gap and one hops the wall. Lai Yu Jun has a double here in the third. All right, so back to the top. This is Wu Yun Shi, the first baseman. And he ropes one right to the same spot in right center. And he bounces one off the wall. Lai scores from second. A couple bullets from Chinese Taipei for zip. Wu was not waiting around. He was going to look for that first pitch. Little toe tap. Backside rotation. Bam! Opposite field double. That's a money swing right there to put another run on the board. They keep tacking them on. It's 4-0 early. 
fly out and then double double. And now first pitch swinging. Jelson stabs and he throws out Chen Kai Shung. Fan Chun Jun on a line to left and gone. He can do it all. June hit this ball. And it was gone in about two seconds. Fawn hit this ball. It was gone in about two seconds. Check this out again. Up in the zone. Just a lean you out to left field. It was almost so low he didn't know if it was going to get out for a second, but that ball was smoked out to left field. I think we got a new clubhouse leader for the best player we've seen so far of the 20 teams. Now, not everyone has played, but at the Little League World Series. I mean, if you can throw an 80 mile an hour fastball and a 71 mile an hour slider and hit a ball that hard off your bat, you are the clubhouse leader. The chance to react to the baseball because it was hit so hard. Lou walks and a two out base runner of Creason. Line drive left field, base hit. Shu walked his first time and now he singles. Wu to second. Two on with two out and six already in for Chinese Taipei. As in AJ Foyt, I guess an attempt to convince the powers that be to let him behind the wheel. No such luck yet. <laughs> and no such luck there. South Dakota's stud Gavin Weir, who was a part of a couple of no hitters here. And when the big leaguers got here, and Fawn is certainly that. 0 oh, 2. And another strikeout, six of them. Dylan Leach. And, and almost uncomfortable starting early. 0-2. Oh, another one. Seven Ks, eight batters face. This is something that's totally new to them. Did it go? He went, so it's eight strikes for Fan Chun Jun. Fon has hit 80 a couple of times. He has smashed a home run. And now in the third, he's got an immaculate inning. Fon Chun Jun is Jacob DeGrom, the Little League version. Popped up, foul ground, and that one hauled in on a fine diving catch by Nash Tomchuk. As I peeked over the booth here, and look how quick he gets to this baseball. Is able to stay with it, knowing that the brick wall is right there. Just sacrifices the body, does an amazing job coming up with that catch. The crease in the mal booth deals on the ground left side. And Cannon Jr. safe at first. On the ground to third. Braden McQueen ends the inning. Good work defensively from Canada in the fourth. And you can't have that if you got to go out and pitch the big game. Um, so yeah, one of my dad's close friends was a restaurateur. We would. So the coach is my best friend, one of my best friends. So, you know, when I saw them play. Well, look what we have here. 35 pitches deep Hello. through three and two okay. thirds of perfect ball. Fan Chun Jun is coming out of this game. Because of that, he only needs one day rest. If he had kept going, he would have needed two days of rest before his next outing. We witnessed greatness. Absolutely roped that ball for a home run to left. Like, he's going to have a lot of impact on these games moving forward. They say that Nixon Jelsing went around, so it's a strikeout there for Chiyo Zawe, continuing what Fon started by Chinese Taipei. The kids got told individually on the Taiwanese team. Go back to maybe Lomity or go back and doing some of the things that they were already doing. Now move with a big strikeout. Chios one two in the air behind short and caught for the first down. A strikeout for Chio. And there's two gone here in the last of the fifth. 
One two to McQueen. And a strikeout for Chio. So it's five perfect innings from Chinese Taipei pitching. And Tennessee against Rhode Island. Line shot starts things out in the sixth inning. Wu Yun Shi, the leadoff man who had an RBI double his last time, smokes one into the gap. It's always one of those guys in the dugout for sure. This one is ball four. And Wu moves up 60 feet. And now he pops this one up into short left, and Junior makes an excellent catch. Canada's defense has been outstanding. But I didn't have the big ones. The big ones, they love those ones. Popped up to the bespectacle Junior again. I think he's rocking the Oakley Sutros, if okay. I'm not mistaken. First pitch swinging for Shu Xiao Xia, and a good pick by Weir on a McQueen's throw. Canada's not out of base runner yet. And a 3-2. Cut and a miss, and there's one gone. One gone, and Trayton Manzuk earls it the first. And there's two gone. 3-2. Cut on and missed! Taiwan, perfect!